Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be discussing paraphimosis, which is the inability to pull forward a retracted foreskin over the gland's penis. In this short video, we're going to be discussing causes, risk factors, clinical features, and finally, management. So first of all, what causes paraphimosis? Well, it's most often caused due to the presence of a tight constricting band as part of the foreskin that prevents the retraction over the gland's penis. As the paraphimosis remains, the glands becomes increasingly edematous or swollen due to the reduced venous return. And this leads to vascular engorgement of the distal penis and further edema. If you don't treat this, this might lead to penile ischemia, worsening infection, and something called Furnier's gangrene, which although rare, is extremely serious. Consequently, it's classified as a urological emergency and it requires urgent management and mainly reduction. In terms of risk factors, well, there are several risk factors, including indwelling urethral catheters, and that's due to non-replaced foreskin, i.e. when the catheter is put in and the foreskin is pulled back, the team often can forget to pull it back over, which can result in this paraphimosis. And it can also be due to prior paraphimosis. Typical presentation is pain and swelling in the glands following retraction of the patient's foreskin and being unable to retract the foreskin back over the glands. So let's have a discussion around management. Well, any paraphimosis should be reduced as soon as possible because delays in management can lead to worsening swelling and a reduced likelihood in successful reduction. Prior to any reduction, you need to ensure suitable pain relief is given to the patient because, as you can imagine, retracting a swollen foreskin back over the gland's penis could be quite an uncomfortable procedure. You could therefore offer a penile block via local anaesthetic, and that would be without adrenaline, or you could use anaesthetic soaked gauze. So let's have a quick discussion around the main methods of reduction. So there are three main types of reduction technique which are more conservative, i.e. they minimize the need for surgery. So the first is manual pressure to the glands, which can help to reduce edema. To do this, you need to squeeze gently, but constantly over the swollen foreskin before applying force to the glands to reduce it. The second is an application of a dextrose soaked gauze to act with an osmotic effect and this works by drawing fluid out of the glands, reducing the edema present and allowing for glands reduction. The third main manual technique is something called the Dundee technique, which involves the use of needle punctures into the glands penis, squeezing the area to allow drainage of the edematous fluid before attempting reduction of the glands. If these manual techniques fail, then a dorsal slit, which is an incision at the prepuce at the 12 o'clock position or an emergency circumcision may be required. Once reduced, you should have a discussion with the patient around consideration for circumcision as an outpatient, which would be definitive management. I hope the video was helpful and useful. If you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below, and please remember to subscribe to the channel for new MedEd videos, which are released every Wednesday and every Sunday. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.